Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at multiple representations of the same linear relationship. So we are going to be given either the verbal description, equation, table, and graph, and then you will use whatever representation you're given to fill out the other ones. So on this first one, we are given the verbal description and we need to fill out the equation, table, and graph. So let's read it and then we'll start with the equation. It says, David is buying movie tickets online. There is a processing fee of $5 and each movie ticket is $10. So for our equation, we, we need to know the slope and the y-intercept. So it tells us there is a processing fee of $5. That means that is gonna be our beginning point. Before they buy any tickets, they're gonna have to pay the $5. And then each movie ticket, that means it's gonna repeat, so its slope is $10. So after they pay the $5, they will have to pay $10 for each movie ticket. So that means our equation is y equals 10x plus five. Okay, now let's fill out the table to get ordered pairs for our graph. So they have already given us the X or input values for the ticket. We will plug it into our equation here to determine the cost or the Y values. So our process, we're going to plug in the X values to 10X plus five to find Y. So on this first one, I want to know how much it costs for zero tickets. So instead of X, I will put zero. And 10 times zero plus five is five. Okay, next one, let's find the cost for one ticket by replacing X with one. And 10 times one plus five is 15. Now let's do the same thing for two tickets. It's 25. Same thing for three tickets. It's 35, and then last one, I'm gonna replace X with four, and it's 45. All right, so I filled out my table, and now I have five ordered pairs. This first ordered pair, zero tickets cost $5. Next one, one ticket would cost $15. Two tickets would cost 25, and three tickets would cost 35, and four tickets cost 45. All right, we have five sets of ordered pairs. I already set up my graph. We talked about how X represents the number of tickets, so that's what I represented the X axis with. And then Y is the cost, so that's on the Y axis. And then my X axis, I just counted by ones since my X values just go up by ones. And then my Y values, I have to fit from five to 45 on this graph, so I counted by five. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and set up your graph and pause this video, take a minute to do that. I'm going to go ahead and plot these. So the first ordered pair was 0, 5. There's my Y intercept. The next ordered pair was 1, 15. Then we had 2, 25, 3, 35, and 4, 45. And I'm going to leave this disconnected because I'm not going to buy anything between zero and one ticket. Um, same thing, we'll just buy a whole number of tickets. So I'm gonna leave my graph disconnected or discrete to represent that. So there is movie ticket situation represented with a verbal description, equation, table, and graph. They all show that the slope or each ticket cost is $10 and our y-intercept or processing fee is $5. Okay, let's look at this next one. This time they gave us the graph. So let's look at the graph and let's start by identifying the slope and the y-intercept and think about what it means in this situation. So right off the bat, I see that my y-intercept is 18 and then my slope is negative and careful because the y-axis is counting by twos and then my x-axis is just counting by ones. So I'm going to use these two points for my slope triangle. The rise is only one space, but it's counting by two. So the rise is two, and then the run is one. So my slope is negative two over one, which simplifies to negative two. So that means my equation is y equals negative two x plus 18. 
Okay, let's think about what this means in the context of this situation and write our verbal description. So the title of this graph is Rides at a Carnival. So we are talking about the number of rides and the number of tickets. And the number of rides is on the x-axis. So that's what I'm going to input and that's going to determine the number of tickets. So this person must have started out with 18 tickets and then each ride they go on cost two tickets because they're going down two each time they go on another ride. So our verbal description would be a person starts with 18 tickets at a carnival. Each ride costs two tickets. All right, the last thing we need to fill out is the table. The process we would plug into negative 2x plus 18, which if you still want to do that, you can, or you can just get these ordered pairs off of the graph. So when the number of rides was zero, the number of tickets was 18. When the number of rides was two, the number of tickets was 14. When the number of rides was four, the number of tickets was 10. Six rides is six tickets and eight rides is two tickets. So there is the rides at the carnival and the number of tickets represented four different ways.